Welcome to the Pet Motel and Salon dog grooming video tour. The first part of the process involves preliminary clipping and scissoring work. In this process, we rough in the clipper patterns and demat and clip unnecessary fur to prepare the dog for a bath. We are not doing precise grooming work at this stage because we feel only after a bath and blow dry where the dog's coat is properly washed and fluffed out can fine tuning work begin. The first dog is an American Cocker named Cusco. The haircut we are performing on him is a Cocker breed groom with trimmed featherings. With this cut, the head and top of the back are clipped very close with clippers, while the skirt under the stomach, legs, and ears are left longer with hand scissoring. The second dog is a Yorkshire Terrier named Gizmo. He is getting a short clipper cut on the body to remove his long matted coat leaving a finished length of about a quarter inch. His head will be hand scissored to maintain the personality of the Yorkie breed type. This short body clip will provide a low maintenance solution for Gizmo's owner. The third dog is a miniature poodle named Casey. She is getting what is called a kennel clip. In this haircut, the torso of the body is clipped short with clippers. The muzzle and feet are cleanly shaven. The legs are hand scissored tubular and blended into the torso, and the head and tail are scissored rounded. Casey is behaving well for her clean poodle feet, which involves clipping the hair between the toes. We will return to these same three dogs later in the video to contrast this prep work with our finishing work where we focus on precise scissoring and neatening of the haircut. The next part of the process is bathing the dog. The dog we are washing here is Katie, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. First we saturate the coat thoroughly with water using a shower sprayer. Next, we generously apply shampoo into the coat using a pliable squeeze bottle. Then, we vigorously scrub the coat using a soft scrub brush. We prefer the soft scrub brush over hand washing because it ensures better coat penetration, achieving cleanliness down to the skin. A good rich lather indicates the coat is properly wetted and the shampoo is getting worked in adequately. Washing a dog is like hand washing a car and that you must be careful with your work, but to do a good job requires a solid physical effort. We wash the head area last to minimize getting shampoo into the eyes. The ears are scrubbed inside and out and the face is lightly scrubbed with some hand massaging to remove eye crust. While the face is a more sensitive area, it needs the same cleaning attention you would give the dog's body. And the final step is a thorough rinsing to remove the shampoo completely from the coat. The next step of the grooming process is drying the dog. The dog we are drying here is Rue, an Australian Shepherd. This is an important part of the grooming process because our powerful forced air dryer not only dries the coat, but also blows out the cottony undercoat that needs to be eliminated. The dryer nozzle is small so that a powerful concentration of air comes out. The dryer is briskly whisked across the dog's coat, doing sections at a time to get the dog dry. We dry the dogs about two-thirds of the way finished and larger dogs like this one will dry further under a fan and a kennel run. 
A proper blow dry is an essential step before doing the finish cut on the dog because it lifts the coat properly away from the skin so that an accurate length is established when cutting the dog's hair. The final part of the grooming process is doing the finishing clipper and scissoring work. Cusco, the American Cocker, is now getting his final clipping and scissoring. Notice how sculpted the legs now look from the scissoring work that has taken place. The feet are rounded neatly from hand scissoring. The short back length is now blended into the longer skirt as you examine the side of the body, and the skirt under the stomach is trimmed. Gizmo, the Yorkshire Terrier, is beginning to show completion. The clipper work on the body has been completely redone. The coat length is now completely uniform and his feet have been neatly trimmed. The final scissor work on the head is taking place now with neatened bangs, neatened ears, and neatening of the beard. Casey, the miniature poodle, is receiving her final stages of grooming as well. Notice her previously bushy legs are now uniformly sculpted from scissor work. Her torso to leg transition is blended. Her top head hair, or top knot, is now becoming a nice rounded shape. Notice the hair on the head being combed outward and then scissored to ensure even cutting all over. We return to Cusco, the cocker, to watch more blending work so that the transition from a short clipper length on the back to the longer skirt length on the stomach flows seamlessly and looks properly tied together. The legs, chest, and skirt are skinned with clippers to achieve the ultimate sculpted look. And now we visit the three dogs in a completely finished state. Each dog is spiffed up with a nice complimentary bandana, and they are ready to be picked up by their owners. This concludes our dog grooming video tour from the Pet Motel and Salon. Thanks for watching.